five hundred forty million dollars. How many zeros in a million? It's a lot of money. It's so much I've never even thought about it. If you bought a Mega Millions ticket, you could be just 24 hours away from a half a billion dollar payday. I think I would probably first quit work. I'd wipe out the debt from my church. Half a billion dollars would definitely help me out. I have seven kids. But what would that kind of money really buy? Homes, cars, vacations, bills? That's not even gonna come close. To spend that kind of money, you need to think big. Tiger Stadium big. At an average of $40 a ticket, with $540 million, you could buy every seat in Tiger Stadium for every home game for the next 21 years. I would put like three more lanes on the interstate. That's a job for state government. With half a billion dollars, you could house all the state prisoners in all the state jails for almost a year. You'd have to let them out about Christmas. The state has so many large needs that a half a billion dollars will help a lot of them, but it won't really solve any of them. But the lottery won't give you $540 million all at once. No, they'll give you a little more than $21 million a year. That's as much money as actors like Jim Carrey, Julia Roberts, and Robert De Niro make for a single movie. But you get it for 25 years. That definitely would give Drew Brees a contract. You can take $389 million the day you cash in your ticket. That's enough to give every man, woman, and child in America a dollar and still have $75,732,803 left over for you. And while we're talking about America, how long do you think you could run the country on half a billion dollars? Uh, maybe a couple of weeks. It'll run Washington for about an hour. Those dollar amounts are just so hard for the average person to get their head around because nobody deals in those large dollar amounts. But the real number you need to know in all of this, 175 million, because those are the odds of you actually having the winning ticket. So don't quit your day job just yet. Rick Porche, WAFB 9 News.